23. Okay. All right, so find the measure of each angle. All right, so if you're seeing my screen, you should now see the snip in of number 19. Is that right? Yes. All right, let's begin. Find the measure of each angle. So you're supposed to know that these two angle measures add up to 180. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know that? Well, they're on a straight line. So the straight line, um, whatever whatever those are, those are x plus y is equal 180. Um, if you were taking geometry, which I guess you've already taken, you, you would know that you either set things equal or they add up to something. So in this case, when you solve for x, you get x equals 10. That's not the measure, though. The measure is putting x back back into the value. So 7 times 10 is 70 degrees. 11 times 10 is 110 degrees. So, all right, so we get, oh, yeah, yeah, 180, x equals 10, so then, so. all right, on a number 21. Okay, so 21 is a right angle, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to snip that picture in, but it's, uh, this is, this is again, where they either add up to something, or in this case, which is the, what's here, or they equal some equal something, um, equal each other maybe. Here you've got five k plus five, which is the first angle, plus three k plus five, equals ninety. Ninety because it's that that right angle there. So you combine like terms, you got eight k plus ten equals ninety. Subtract ten from both sides, so eight eight k equals eighty. K ends up equaling ten. That's not the answer that they want the the uh, measure of each angle, so you have to put that ten back into into uh, each of those. So we got five times ten plus five, fifty five. Three times ten plus five, which is thirty five. Thirty five. All right. Number twenty three. All right, so this is uh, words now. It says supplementary angles. And you were supposed to know that supplementary means they add up to 180. Complementary means that they add up to 90. So you could see either of those on a quiz or a test. So that supplementary there means that they add up to 180. Okay, so these two angle measures, it's, it's basically this, this picture again. This is 8x minus 12. This is 6x minus 4. These have to add up to 180 like you did in number 19. So it's 14x minus 16 equals 180. Plus 16 plus 16, so 196 equals 14x. <sighs> Divide by 14, uh, so you end up getting like. Uh, it's about oh, 9 or 10, or what is that? 10, 10 gets you to 140, so you got 56 left over, which is uh, 4 more, so 14 for that. And then we uh, plug it back in, right? Yeah, I think is it. I think it does say to find both angles. Yep. So we got to do six times fourteen minus four, eight times fourteen minus twelve. You actually only have to find one because you're going to subtract from one eighty, um, but you can find either to find the other. Uh, so, I'm sorry, I got the wrong number. This is a hundred. No, no, this is 80. Six times 14 is 80. All righty, on to uh, number 45. Okay, 45 here. Find the angle of least positive measure that is coterminal. Coterminal, okay. 
So 45. 45. Um, minus 40 degrees. Okay, so on a on a we, we did this over the summer. If you're going negative, you're going clockwise. Oh, okay. A little weird, but that's that's the direction clock goes. So this is zero, this is minus 90 down here. So you're not quite you're not quite to to the minus 90. Obviously, you're you're over here at minus 40. Um, the the least positive measure. You're essentially going to either add 360 or subtract 360 to get there. So all that does is it, it's like a rotation all the way around. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this, in this case, you get 320. 320 degrees looks like this. When you're going, when you're going counterclockwise, it's for positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is 0, 90, 180. 270 and if you go all the way around it's 360 so if you go all the way around to where 320 is it's the same as where this minus 40 is so uh like it's like a track it tracks not a reason because it's not a circle but um it, it, it's like saying you've got a circle here and you're starting here it's like saying well you can go all the way around one direction or you can go or you can just go this way both get you to the same place oh okay okay um in terms of the the mechanics of it you're adding 360 or you're subtracting 360 or if it's in radian you're adding two pi or you're subtracting two pi so Sounds we'll good do, we'll do we'll do smart you have to do 47 yes 47 okay so, so it's for good. 45, is it drawing it or what, what does it want? It just wants the number. And what was like, the number? Well, the number, the number is 320 degrees. Okay, so 320 degrees. All right. And so now we're at number 47. So 47 is 450 degrees. Does that go around to the left? If it's if it's positive, it's going counterclockwise so it's starting it's going 90 that's 90 oh, okay. 180 right and then 270 and yep. then 360 and then it keeps going so the, the way they show this i gotta i gotta kind of redraw it is they show it, it the, the kind of building on itself a yeah spiral so that's 450 okay dog. so you either add or subtract 360 to get to get um um the smallest positive co angle. So in this case, you're going to subtract. 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 Okay. Um, and you'll, you'll find that it's 90 degrees. If you were to subtract 360 again, you get negative 270. Well, that's too far. Yeah. But that's it just wants a positive number, that's right? right? That's okay. right. All right. That's reasonable. Um, let's go on to number 49. 49. Okay. So this is uh, this is where it gets it gets awkward. It's it's negative pi over four. So the, the the what most students do is they convert this to degrees, find the answer in degrees, and then convert it back to radians. You ultimately want to uh, not do that. You want to be able to do it straight in radians. Um, so zero, and then this is minus pi over two down here. So your minus pi over four is par partially um, down this way. Okay, and if you're not sure why that is, I mean, we can go into a little more detail on that. But the the to find the smallest coterminal angle, you have to add two pi. What's coterminal again mean? It means it's the it's the same angle, just getting at it from a different direction. Oh. You're oh, at okay. the same place, but you got there a different way. All right, so negative one half. Uh, negative pi over four plus two pi. It's like it's and you have to get get the common denominator. It's the key thing here. So you end up getting seven pi over four. Seven pi over four. All right. All 
I mean, my guess is you'll get a question very similar to this. So you have to know when to add two pi or subtract two pi okay. or add 360 and subtract 360. All right, now we're on to number 51. 51, okay. This negative, so for negative three pi over two, do I add two pi to this? Yes, yes. All right, negative three pi over two plus two pi. And that just equals uh, just one half pi? That's right, pi over two or one half pi, exactly. Or pi over two, okay. All right, that's straightforward enough. Uh, next is uh, 61. Convert each degree measure to radians, leave answers as rational multiples of pi. Okay, so, so to convert, there's, there's a little bit of background information here. If you have an answer in degrees to go to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. Okay. Okay. To go the other way, you divide by pi over 180, or you can think of it as multiplying by 180 over pi. So in this case, you're going in this top loop here. So you're just going to multiply this number by pi over 180. And that uh, there is the answer often has a pi in it, not always, but often does. And you just have to reduce this fraction. So it's 60 over 180 times pi or uh, one like, third pi. Right. Go ahead. Oh, so that cancels out to one. Okay. Yep. Or just pi over three. Pi over three. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Uh, let's go to number 63, 150 degrees. Okay, so since you're going from degrees to radians, you're going to multiply by pi over 180. So you can take that 150 and you multiply by this pi over 180. So that's 150 over 180 times pi. And you know, you can you can take as much, do as many steps as you need to reduce it. Uh, you just this have to be able to get. Six pi. Yep, exactly. You can do it in your calculator as well. You just can't put the pi in because the pi will give you an irrational number. Um, mm -hmm. But if you just put the numbers in without pi, you'll get the fraction at least. Sounds good. All right, this is where it gets tricky. Number sixty-five. All right, so not seeing. Oh, you did send me another scan. Okay. Um, there it is. Okay. 65, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Hang on. Um, all right. So, so this one's no different. You just have to, you just have to multiply by um, pi over 180. Mm -hmm. So you multiply by pi over 180. So it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be negative. It's negative 45 over 180 times pi. And it does reduce to negative 1 over 4 times pi or negative pi over 4. All right, mm -hmm. is that? Uh... And I'm assuming we're going to go to, into 67 through 72 because that's going the other direction. That's just yes. as important. On to num yeah, number 67. You were correct. All right. All right. Very, very predictable. So 67 is, is pi over 3. Mm -hmm. So instead of multiplying by pi over 180, you flip it. It's 180 over pi. So you only have to remember one way or the other because then you just know the other one's the flip of it. Often the pi's cancel, not always, but often. Okay, so you end up getting this 180 over three, which is 60 degrees. Hmm. So that works out nicely. Yeah, a lot of these do. All right, all right. On to number 69, uh, 69 seven pi here. over four. Do we do the same? Uh, exact, exact same thing. All right. So you multiply by 180 over pi, pi's cancel, 
180 divided by four is the 45. So you get seven times 45. And you'll find that that's 315 degrees. Awesome. On to number 71. Now we get for this section. All right. Same formula, right? Doing 71, yeah. And pi over 6 times 180 over pi. 6 divides into 30. Wait, no, it's, no I'm, I'm off. I got to be off. 369. No? Okay, 30. And then that's 30 times 11, which is 330 over. Yeah. That's right. 330, 330 degrees. degrees. Okay. Awesome. Uh, next, we go to number 87. This will be, yeah, number 87 and 88, and then we'll go on to 91 and 92, okay. 19, then 19. So 87, I'm going to snip it in here. It's, it's a picture. It says, find the exact length of each arc intercepted by the central angle. Um, and kind of maybe a complicated way of, exp of, of saying what they're actually looking for. They're saying, find, find this area of, or this length of the, the circumference. Mm-hmm. So there's a there's a formula for this um, s equals r times theta. You might have seen that in class, maybe. Oh, I think I did. Okay, very important though. This has to be in radians. So this formula works great when it's in radians. Um, now, is this angle in radians? This angle? Uh, yes, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So you can actually just take the radius four times pi over two mm -hmm. and get the uh, the value here, which is two pi. I don't like this formula, but but it's the one that, that uh, you, you know, the every, 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 well, every textbook uses, but I think it's complicated because it's, you have to know that it's in radians. Otherwise, it's no good. Pi over two. Okay. On to number 88. 88, okay. So we'll do the same thing here. Um, oh, it's in radians again. Thanks. So I guess that's, I mean, that's probably why your instructor gave you the formula. And, and so just go ahead and do a couple of problems here. I mean, it, it, this is S. S. S is the arc length. I don't know why it's S. It, it doesn't really mean much to me. Um, the radius is 12. Mm -hmm. And the angle is pi over 3. I end up getting oh wait oh that's r over three I saw I thought I saw r over two My yeah brain. so it ends up being four pi and it it takes on the units like let's say this was in meters it would be four pi meters if if it were okay so now we go on to uh what is it number ninety one okay. I think I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, we did number 88. Yeah, 91. Yep, on to 91. Okay, so it says find the measure of each central angle in radians. Okay, so this is using the same formula, but we're solving for the angle instead of the arc length. Okay, so okay. isn't it, um, so six equals four O, the four theta? I'm not, I guess I'm not sure where you where you got uh, those numbers. So this this three is S. Oh wait, no, on I'm the arc. The one. And then uh, this is um, this is how is that? I guess that is possible. This is R. So your angle theta is S over R, which is three over three, which equals one. Now this is very clear. It's not one degree. It's one radian. So one radian? Yes. All right. On the number 92. Okay, 92. Okay, I'm just snipping it in here. Um, 
Oh yeah. So you, uh, maybe you were doing this one because these the numbers are sounding pretty similar. So it's it's six is s and four is r. So s equals r theta. Theta equals s divided by r. Six over four, which is one point five radians. S over r. Six over four equals one point five radians. All right, now we go to number 119, last two. Say that one more time, which numbers? Uh, 119 and 120, these are the last two. Okay. All right. Uh, 119. All right, so this is, uh, you're trying to find the area of this, it's the pizza slice. And maybe your instructor said that in class uh, or pie slice. Um, what's the area of an entire circle? Do you remember that formula? Uh, pi r squared? R squared, very good. Now, the way that I do this, um, oh, this is interesting. Um, your instructor must have given you a formula for this. I think so. Uh, I was going to back, I was going to sort of derive it here, but the, the, uh, it's, it's the angle out of 360, um, is, uh, wow, that's weird, is, is, uh, is how I do it. And then if you want to convert this to, uh, to radians, and this is, this is how they, so you take the angle times 360 times, uh, pi over 180. No, I'm sorry, 180 over pi to get a radians 180 over pi. You have pi r squared here. So what ends up happening is you is is that cancels with that, and you get a two on the bottom. So you get your angle over two r squared. And this angle is now in radians. So maybe none of that made sense. Maybe it did. Um, you've got a formula, it should look something like that but we have to find this angle. So we have to use the same, the same formula we used before, S equals R theta. Theta equals S over R, which is two pi over six, which is pi over three. That's the number we're putting into this angle over here. That, that's so the pi angle. Pi over right? three pi over, over three. two? Yep, so it's pi over three over two radius is six squared. So you end up getting pi over six times six squared, which ends up equaling six pi. Alrighty. Is that the whole thing? That's it for that one, yeah. Okay, dokie. Uh, last one, number 120. Okay. Uh, same thing here. We're going to have to first find the angle. And I'm snipping it in. Just bear, bear with me here. Get, get caught up here. So we're going to find the angle. I, I didn't really understand what the problems wanted to do, but you got to find, you got to find the angle first. S equals R theta. Theta equals S over R, which is four pi over eight, which is equal to pi over two. Okay. Now this just happens to be 90 degrees, but you don't have to use that. But let's, 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 let me, well, I guess I can do it both ways. So um, the area of a sector is the angle out of 360 times pi r squared when this angle is in degrees. Okay. So 90 out of 360 times pi eight squared is one fourth pi times 64, which is 16 pi. Yep. Okay. Now, I also said the area of a sector, we derived it, is the angle over two r squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the angle in radians is pi over two. So this was 
pi over two over two, eight squared. So it's pi over four times 64, which is also 16 pi. So there's two formulas. They're both valid. One works for when it's in radians and one works when it's in degrees. I prefer the one in degrees um, for this, but uh, it's just a personal choice. Wait, so that's how we put it into radians right there? If you go down real fast? Uh, so it, it, if you get, if you radians, this is what you should have seen in class. So we got 90 degrees. All right. 90 over 360. Wait, so what do we do with that 16 pi that we got for the A sector right there? That's what it's looking for. That's what it's asking for. It says find the area of the sector. That's what it's that's what it's asking for. The pizza slice. Oh, and then like Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, that was everything that I wanted to work on today, Matthew. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks, Jake. Um, just, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure to be critical of you at all, but I, I mean, is there, was there anything yeah. about the booking process that created the problem or was it just totally an oversight on your part um, for, was, for this? I apologize about that. It was, um, I thought that I had scheduled for today and not okay. yesterday. I okay. For that. I, That's okay. I, I, that it won't happen out. again. I well, it worked. It worked out really. It worked out just fine. I just, it, I just, you're good. You're a great customer. So if if you had an issue, I want to solve it for you first of all. Um, you it's know, all straightforward. I, no worries. Okay. Um, and and uh, I want to say something else, but um, thanks again for scheduling, and uh, you know, let me know when I can help again. Of course, I appreciate your help and your time. Okay. Thank you. Bye, bye, Matthew. Bye. Have a nice night.